All right, guys, today I'm here with Chris. Chris, thank you so much for meeting up with me. Today, we're actually in his, uh, his personal garage, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, he has got to have the nicest collection of home tools that I've ever seen, so. You have a classic 96 here. Um, he was just telling me about this top because I was admiring the stainless steel top. And you said you got it, uh, it's an icon top? That's right. So it's an icon top. I bought it from Harbor Freight using a 25% off coupon. That's right. It doesn't really fall <laughs> under the toolbox category. You kind of can get oh, away with it. And so uh, cool. yeah, it fits almost perfect. Like I said, it was. it's designed for the Master Series, so it's designed to hang over in the front like a, an inch, oh, so okay, I just right. flipped it over and it hangs over in the back That's a little awesome. bit. So I mean, if you don't want to spend like ungodly amounts of money. I think it's like 12 or 1300 bucks. Yeah, so you just get one of these. And these are solid too. Yeah, Like I'm I see them over at Harbor Freight and I'm like, man. Yeah, and it's real, it. real stainless steel. Man, that's cool. How long have you had the box? So this box fell in my lap like uh, maybe 13 or 14 months ago. Um, nice. It was just a very fortuitous situation where I mentioned uh, Snap-on and a guy was like, I know a guy who's, who's selling this box and I went and looked at it and I had no intention of buying a giant Snap-on box before I moved across the country. Right. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't pass it up. So a little bit about my story. I, I'm kind of a tool collector. Uh, <laughs> I've been oh uh, putting together my, my tools for 10 years now and uh, just very slowly over time, I've been, you know, Snap-on is my favorite brand, and when I can afford to uh, to get my hands on Snap-on, that's the way to go. So you've never wrenched professionally. This is all just collection of just home tools. That is correct. So at the scrapyard, uh, things break all the time. And as I was telling you, we, we destroy 150, 200 cars a day. So machines go down, things break, things don't go the way you want. We were on a dead-end street in Brooklyn, New York, with that kind of traffic flow coming in. So if we didn't keep the operation going, we were in big trouble. Mm. So you learn how to problem solve, you learn how to fix things quickly, and it's just something that uh, that, that business taught me, and you know, you, you can't always rely on calling a mechanic. Sure, yeah. People these days don't wanna work, yeah. whether it's a mechanic or, or just a guy showing up to work. So we became problem solvers, we became fixers, and that's awesome. it was a business built on Band-Aids, but they worked. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I've got Pretty much everything I need. I got all my half inch deep impact, um, got my 3 8 stuff, and uh, got quarter inch metric, and I've got a lot of standard stuff, and pretty much everything. Yeah. Got so many extensions, I decided this was honestly probably <laughs> the easiest way to, to organize my extensions. I just throw them all in here and dig out what I need. This is all my impact stuff here. It's funny because there's a lot of people that have like just a ridiculous amount of uh, extensions, but they're usually not like just all snap on, you know, usually like the cheap Harbor Freight, but these are literally like all. Pretty much. All I mean, I have some cheaper, like I, I love Matco and Mac, but I have <laughs> right. some stuff that's a little beat up because every once in a while you got to take a hammer to something and do something foolish. And these sets with the foam, I just love the. I had actually a lot more foam, Did a you? lot more plastic trays. You can't fit it. Oh you know, yeah, sure. Can't fit it in, and I had to start kind of thinking outside the box on what fits best in my box. It, it got to a point where a lot of the foam got thrown away. I used to be obsessed with getting these sets and the mm -hmm. foam. It looks so beautiful. People yeah. are selling foam from a hundred to three hundred dollars on eBay. It's out Man. of this world, you know. So I actually ended up throwing away a lot of the the foam and the trays and stuff, so I could fit everything in. Yeah. Yeah, you'd probably only be able to get like half of this in here if it was all foams and trays. Yeah, it and takes stuff. up a lot of space. I mean, you've seen, I've, I've seen in a couple of your other videos where the, you'll have like five extensions. In right, one. yeah. So <laughs> this was my answer. I went to, uh, actually, this was like a three pack at Harbor Freight. Oh, sweet. And picked that up. These are kind of interesting. I've never seen, uh, are these like magnetic? Or yeah, so this is actually have a brand new one right here. So these are these flexible mag strips. Oh, it's flexible. So yeah, so I mean, you could throw it on like the fender of a car. I mean, it will scratch. You got to put something over it but these are pretty cool oh, man. Um, they don't make them for half inch i don't think the magnets are strong enough oh gotcha that makes sense but the three eight's pretty cool you know yeah. and you can kind of build it any way you want to that's cool yeah i like that i like nice. this a lot 
And then I've never built a toolbox. This was kind of like trial and error. Yeah. You know, this was a skinny drawer, so I figured, let me put skinny items in here. You know, Man. that's why I have like ratchets mixed in with screwdrivers and picks and, you know, all sorts of it. Goodness. So I, I don't know, maybe a. I think you did a good job. This I is think really your, good. Your professional <laughs> mechanics might be kind of shaking their heads. I but. don't know, man. This is pretty. I've seen a lot of toolboxes. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty. You sweet know, setup. I, I, I do know. suffer from a little OCD <laughs> and obsessive compulsive disorder. So I just, man. I had an opportunity where most people, when they build their boxes, you know, they do it over time and they're kind of just slapping it together. Sure. Me, I had all my tools ready. Mm. And so when I finally had an opportunity to put my box together, I just spread everything out and it was like Tetris. Oh, it was wow. like, how can we yeah. put this together in a way that's going to work the best? Gosh. It's you like know? A lot of trial and error, there, I guess. I kind of yeah. recently got introduced to this. This My Snap On rep gave me this Power Blue uh, handle and I, I fell in love with it. So I got the, well, the I've Power never Blue seen hard it. handles. I've seen like ratchets, but I've never seen like a hard handle. I had the high vis yellow. Oh, okay. And I hated them. Did you really? <laughs> I, I didn't want to use them because again, I have my OCD. So oh, like, sure. I, I clean my tools with WD-40 when I'm done working. And yeah. I didn't want to grab them with a greasy, oily hand. Oh, yeah. And I found these at a pawn shop in, uh, in Salt Lake. No way. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sweet find. Which is pretty funny. As I pulled up, I said to my wife, is this a sketchy neighborhood? And she's like, ah, a little. And as I was walking in, some guy <laughs> took off with a weed whacker. No the way. The pawn shop guy chased him a block <laughs> down. He came back huffing and puffing. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so this is, um, this is kind of cool. Like you hear a lot about, um, you can buy these 88 tooth Matco heads. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty cheap. I think I think I paid like twenty six bucks for this. Oh no kidding! I mean, you you price out the ratchet, and it's like two hundred bucks. So I had an extra blue point breaker bar lying around. Oh nice! And I just threw the, you know, because I already have a monster snap on. I oh could, sure. But yeah. I could have made it any size I wanted, but I was kind of filling a gap. You oh, know? that's cool. Has the ball detent and everything, so you know, really holds its spot. Wow. Man, that's so many ratchets here. Do you have a ratchet that's your favorite? I guess it'd be hard to choose, but man. You know, to be honest, I usually reach for just a standard. Just a classic. Three yeah. eights, yeah. Um, I really do like these uh, swivel heads. I reach for them a lot. Um, I like this. Uh, it's a compact three eights. Oh, well, I didn't even notice. That's cool. So I, I reach for these quite a bit. I used to hate these big soft grips. Uh -huh. As I'm getting older and maybe suffering a little bit from like carpal tunnel and stuff, I actually prefer them now. Oh, that's cool. Because like when you're something like when you're holding this small thing in your hand for a long period of time, your arm starts to kind of cramp up and go oh, numb. Sure, yeah. This is uh, is much better. Nice. Yeah, I love these swivel heads. They really get you in and out of some tricky places. This bit swivel head's pretty awesome. Whoa, I've never seen that before. That's cool. So you just put any kind of bit in there. Yep. Wow, that's and you awesome. can use it as a screwdriver. You know, you can get kind of creative with these. I like them wow. a lot. And as far as screwdrivers go, I'm guessing you just do mostly snap-on there? Yeah. I mean, before I was this lucky, I, I love these Milwaukee. Um, the bigger ones have the cap on the back to, to hit on them. Oh, and, yeah. But, yeah. Can't go wrong. You really can. I mean, the snap-on screwdrivers are great. I love these ratcheting guys. I got the stubby ratcheting guys, too. You know, keep your best bits in there if you just need to grab it and go. Sure. What are those uh, organizers there? Is that met for? Screwdrivers? Yeah, so these are from Harbor Freight. Oh, um, nice. I'm really happy with the way they worked out. I was able to get two complete sets of screwdrivers in. No kidding. You know, this is yeah. a whole complete set of uh, soft handles and then a complete set of hard handles. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I like how low profile they are. They don't raise all the screwdrivers totally. super high. And like I was saying before, you know, what do you do with a, such a shallow drawer? And right, so Anything yeah. that kind of went into this shallow drawer. And it, it, to me, it worked great, you know? Yeah, that's sweet. Got my wrenches down here. Man. Yeah, man. Built this uh, piece by piece. You got a full full set of standard and metric, huh? Yep. Yeah, no skips. I see a 23 back there. Goodness. 25. 25 back there. Mm -hmm. Gosh. This is the icon set right here. These oh, are those great. Are nice. I didn't even know they made something like that. Yeah, flex oh, they... head, double box ratcheting. Oh, they're reversible. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, man, I got. Full set of like ignition wrenches. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah. So as far as the icon go, do you have like a, a can you tell a difference when you're using an icon versus a, oh, these are ratcheting. 
That's sweet. I love these sets. Do you really? I really do. I mean, if, if I'm giving advice to somebody who's just getting into the business and they are trying to turn their wheels and figure out you know how to buy snap on stuff i tell them go to harbor freight buy pittsburgh buy what you can afford sure yeah you know don't put yourself into debt snap on my rep's gonna kill me <laughs> but don't put yourself into debt yet yeah, right you know wait until you got some things going for you and then you can actually make some money and then then you can graduate to something like icon and snap on mm -hmm. and, and you know something you can really be proud of but sure. i really again I, I love these these are tremendous yeah. these are double box you could i put serious way you could break loose with this side and then flip over to the other side and, right. and spin it loose i really i didn't even know they made sets like that i would say this so i can't compare these to for example a 19 millimeter snap-on because icon kind of models there's after the long handle oh i see so you'll see it's it's, it's already longer and sure bigger, yeah you know? but i mean i'm really happy about this set yeah. so I, I i use them and i I don't abuse them like a, an everyday mechanic does, but I, I've absolutely beat on them. What's next? This is sort of my hammer drawer. I got some chisels. These are kind of cool. They don't even make these anymore. So these are snap-on internal pipe wrenches. You know, so if you gotta break something loose, you stick it into the pipe, and as you turn it, this grips it from the inside. Oh, that's different. And you can bring it out. And these are huh. old school oh, snap-on. Like huh. Yeah. Can't Whoa. even get those anymore. Huh. Brass hammers. I love, love, love these snap-on ball peens. I didn't know they made. Is that black? Like a black. This. Yeah. So this is. I think they call it a titanium gray. Oh, titanium. Hundredth okay. anniversary. This oh, is. This sweet. would be the power blue, and this are my favorite colors. Damn. Yeah. That's cool. You got a bunch of cool colors in here. I'm. I'm not a body shop guy, but I got these beautiful hickory handle. Oh wow. Well, I think this is the shrinking one, and then this would be the the shrinking has like the. Uh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. The meat tenderizer face. Oh man. I told my in-law next time she wants to pound a turkey, she could borrow that. <laughs> man, those slides are awesome. They're great. They're like, they're uh, so this is kind of all the long stuff, all my snap-on pry bars. You know, some I have two because there's a lot of jobs where you just can't get. Can't get away with one. All my longest uh, half inch extensions. This one's even bigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I don't know when I'll ever use it, but I have it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is kind of all my long stuff. My big breaker bars. This one's Mac, uh, Snap-on. I got some, you know, Matt Go Mac stuff. Yeah. As you can see, all my really long screwdrivers, some picks and uh, my pry bars. Everything's so clean. I love that. What is that? Is that just like an adapter? Or so this is kind of cool. I mean, you don't use them as much anymore, but what you do is, so you throw it on your breaker bar and it turns into a ratchet. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's cool. That looks super beefy. Yeah, like, so like, you know, if you want to leave something like this in your truck for yeah. when you're off-roading and you want to just be, be able to do a tire change pretty quick. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a monster. Kind of getting into my... A little bit of my power stuff. I love the black and red. Yeah, you do. Holy moly. I do. That is awesome. So most of my power tools are Milwaukee. I got uh, the 14 volt um, quarter inch snap on ratchet. I love this thing. The rest is uh, Milwaukee. So I got the high speed Milwaukee. This thing really rips. I mean, I used to have the fuel. And the fuel's a little stronger than this, uh -huh. but it's so slow. Oh, uh, okay. It drove me nuts. This thing rips. Wow. It absolutely makes it worth using this tool. Because before I was like, well, what's the point? I'll just use a ratchet. Right. I've never used this, never used it. Oh, okay. I've tried, and I'm just, it never. Huh. It's usually not powerful enough for what I want to do. And, sure. And then the long handle one I do like. I do use that. Heat gun I use all the time. This little hacksaw I use all the time. Uh, Absolutely love this thing. Snap on torch. Oh, sweet! Yeah, it's awesome. The uh, the soldering iron I used quite a lot. Does the soldering iron heat up pretty quickly? Yeah. Does it? Huh. It doesn't get as hot as like a kit. Uh huh. You know, but um, I'm not a very good I'm not very good with it, huh. so it keeps me from getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So. Skinny drawers over here. So snap on small Phillips, small flatheads. It's a lot of like Wea, a lot of like hex and stuff, picks. Yeah, these little pink snap on oh, that's picks. That's a cool color. Huh. 
files and miscellaneous stuff. Flashlights. It's cool. Laser. Oh, yeah. What do you use that for? I just, drive, <laughs> just to drive the dog crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have a flashlight that's your favorite? Yes. It would be the one that's always in my pocket. What is that? That's so cool. This company is uh, Four Sevens. Uh, the guy that started the company is super awesome. And he ended up selling it to his buddy Prometheus. Huh. And uh, so it's got a it's got a built-in magnet. Oh, that's it's cool. rechargeable. It's uh, very bright for what you need. Wow. Uh, so that's on high. I mean, I usually just use it on kind of medium. Oh, so medium when you low. like twist it, it'll. Yeah. So it's got a, an interface. So that's how you change it. So oh, on and off, cool. it's always going to go back to your setting. Okay. But if you do it quickly, it'll go through, it'll cycle oh, through. Wow. So that's moonlight, medium, high, and then. That's uh, awesome. That is not my dog. There's <laughs> <laughs> a random dog coming in here. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, man. It's, you know, I, uh, I'm a big fan of everyday carries. This is a oh, company sweet. I really like. It's called Microtech. Okay. They make these in North Carolina. This particular model, they got a lot of controversy over. Um, they outsourced it to China. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah. But it's this titanium carbon fiber, beautiful, you know, assembled here. I mean, I beat the heck out of this thing. And oh, wow. it was just, uh, this, is, this will all come off, you know, with a little yeah. cleaning. But uh, this is a tremendously beautiful knife. I mean, I love this thing. And then I carry, daily carry this. Oh, wow. You know, because one-handed operation is key. Yeah. So, like, you just get this thing out, and it's tearing through whatever you oh, need wow. to. Oh, wow. Who so. makes that knife? Same company. Same company, huh? This one was made in the United States. Oh, wow. I'm actually really happy with this Cornwell pick set. Oh, nice. Um, so, it's the long and the short picks. Assortment of brushes. I don't know why I have so many scissors. <laughs> Man, I had this thing in my toolbox forever. I don't know why. I just kept it and I liked it. And then one day I was looking at it and sure enough, it's a snap, uh, snap. on. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, I know that feels good. Man, just <laughs> there's a reason. Yeah. I love these Milwaukee quick flip box cutters. Oh, these are sweet. amazing. Fluke multimeter, way more complicated than I even know how to use. This Hilti thing is cool. It's like a laser distance finder so you put it on whatever you're trying to find the distance to and it gives you like an accurate reading oh nice calipers all sorts of stuff exacto blades different stuff from my multimeters and proud of this drawer right here oh wow so these are harbor freight these are their upgraded adjustable uh plier holders adjustable huh yeah so you can kind of move move this for the size of the handle no way. You know. That's cool. Yeah. And this is all mostly Snap-on and Knipex. That is a cool color. I've never seen that. Yeah, so that's that, sort of that kind of that dark titanium. Yeah. Huh. And, you know, I've had to work on these. I, I don't know if you've ever picked up a pair of pliers, Snap-on pliers, specifically straight off the truck. They come stiff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you think, <laughs> let me put oil on them, but that's actually the opposite of what you're supposed to oh, do. Oh, really? You're supposed to just get them hot. Really? You're working them. They have like this compound in them already, and you just got to get them hot and work them until they just start getting huh. loose. And once you get them to where you like them, then you put the oil and oh, stop okay. them from getting looser and looser. Huh. But like I would just sit there and watch a show and, and work some of these, you know, so yeah. that they actually do fall open. I mean, yeah. Some of these you couldn't even. Yeah, you can't use them with one hand. No. When they're brand new like that. Yeah. You know, People tell you, oh, just use them. They'll be great. Yeah. But I wouldn't I wouldn't reach for them. Gotcha, yeah. Because you don't want to deal yeah. with that. So power blue, again, I love. But most of these are, are red. I'm trying to keep, kind of keep it to that uh, that level. And I haven't gotten the small set yet, but these adjustable needle noses are pretty awesome. They're all, so, over, all over the internet. Yeah. Those are awesome. Huh. I had to nag my rep in New York to get me a <laughs> set of these. <laughs> yeah. These high leverage snap-on ones are great. You can really... Oh, wow. Put some weight into what you're grabbing with these. Huh. Someone asked me how they work, but boy, they bite hard. Oh, those are awesome. Yeah. It's that same dog looking for his house. <laughs> uh, kind of a junk drawer here. Bits. This set came with this gun in a kit. Oh, okay. So it's kind of matchy-matchy, but I think it's made in China. I can't really tell. Like, I don't even know if I brought this to the truck if they'd warranty it, but huh. it did come with the kit. Nice. It's kind of awesome. You know, bit sets, uh, gear wrench mini torques. 
Another bit set, I don't know why. This is kind of cool. The Grand Master Lockpick <laughs> set. Huh. Whoa. Couldn't pass up on this thing. I mean, yeah, how that's cool. How cool is that? So there's a lot of like jigglers and it'll kind of point you in the right direction. So you just take these these jiggler keys and you get them in the cylinder lock. Oh, and... yeah. Have you tried any of those? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. I'll play with them one day. Uh, but uh, I don't want to break anything. Yeah, that's where I'm at. You know, love multi-tools. This is kind of an old school Victorian ox. This is like an old school Leatherman. Oh, yeah. So then uh, this box did not come with a, uh, a power tool or power drawer. It was too old. Oh, okay. So I went to, but, but I really wanted one. So Icon has this in their box. Okay. And when I spoke to the guys at Harbor Freight, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't sell it to me. Oh, really? So I ended up calling corporate and uh, I got the part number. Oh, wow. And I called corporate and they sold it and sent it right to me. It was 50 bucks. No way. And it fit in there perfectly. Wow. And then because I had one extra gun, I bought an extra cup from Snap-on and just used self-tapping screws to put oh, that sweet. on there. That looks so organized. Very that's happy sweet. with the way this came out. I mean, yeah. I didn't bother putting a power source in there. I could have. Uh, but I just thought adding that extra element would have made it a little bit messy. I'm happy right, to charge yeah. my batteries outside. Yeah. So some of the snap-on guns I do, everyone loves the stubby. Yeah, the three eight stubby. Yeah. But I'll reach for this over this every time. Really? I love the rocker trigger. It's just as powerful. It's it's much thinner. Yeah. Yeah. I just I find this to be a far superior option than this. Huh. I hate to say it. No. I'm, but I'm saying it. <laughs> if you've uh, got both, you're you're you know, entitled and, to and make your opinion. I'm a big Milwaukee fan, so don't get me wrong. Like <laughs> I I absolutely love their guns, and I will reach for for one of these big dogs anytime. But when it comes to just doing the little stuff, uh, even this I love. This is the the surge. Uh -huh. So because it's hydraulic, it doesn't make as much noise as a traditional impact. So instead of using a, a hammer, I, I, I don't ask me, it's magic, it's wizardry, <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it is so much quieter than, uh, than a traditional impact. Compared to... Oh, geez, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, wow. You know. So huh. Yes, this is an 18 volt more powerful, but this is so much quieter. No, that's awesome. And I was reading about how the hydraulic system works. Like I did, I did all of this using this gun. Oh, wow. Huh. And like, it's still driving it in. Yeah. And so the way this works is this is actually striking coming off, striking coming off. So the torque is coming in in peaks. This applies it consistently. Wow. So it's not coming off. It is consistently applying that torque. Yeah. And uh, so even though the torque rating on this is obviously not as high as one of these or it's little M12 counterpoint, it actually can do just as much. Wow. And then over here, I got, uh, you know, I use these gloves are amazing. This is by probably one of my favorite snap-on lights. Wow. I mean, it just really is great. It's always charged and ready to go. It's also got the UV light. Oh, wow. For when you're looking for a, a leak in your um, AC system. The mag mats that uh, Snap-on makes are phenomenal. They use neodymium magnets. They're very strong. Wow. You know, so uh, huh. I've got the big one down here. I have it sticking to something, and then, you know, you just want to, I don't know, grab a big ratchet. Holy cow. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. So you can see all the neodymium magnets. Yeah. Very, very strong. That is awesome. And you know, just kind of a million uses. It all just depends on how creative you are. And yeah. Sometimes it's uh, Matt just figuring out how to best use something. That's sweet. Yeah, they're awesome. Lifetime guaranteed. Yeah. Really cool. These are the best headlamps in my opinion. Oh, whoa. I mean, I absolutely love them. You can, you can keep them. I like them on my ears. So they're looking where I'm looking. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys put them on their neck. Uh, personally, I, I wear them on my head. I have two, so if one dies, I, I'm right back to work. Love, love, love these snap-on head units. The new ones now, they detach, huh. which I guess is okay. You can like pop one off and stick it somewhere with a magnet. Oh, gotcha. These are the best. I have a plethora of other lights. Oh, wow. I've got uh, these snap-on drop lights also. These are kind of cool. 
So you got this, but you also can just close it and use oh, it as great. a regular flashlight. Very bright, very powerful. This uh, Milwaukee one I'll use quite often as my, um, stick it inside the hood somewhere. Is that like a work light? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's also, you can, it's got a USB, so you can charge your stuff, but ah, okay. it's got strong magnets. So just kind of stick it wherever you yeah. want it and go to ah. town. These little Milwaukee ones are also awesome. Just stick them wherever you want. Yeah. Hey, you got so many lights. That's so Yeah, awesome. glue gun. Rough, tough guys don't want to talk about the glue gun. I use the glue gun all the time. Yeah. I, I really do. I, I wish I wish Milwaukee would get on board and make an M12 glue gun. You just, would think they would. I mean, like, just do it. They have yeah. a soldering iron. How hard would it be to make a cool little right. glue gun? I would I would 100% buy it. For sure. Got to have a snap-on uh, ice scraper. Okay, that's that's really cool. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is my, my scope. Oh, wow. One of those. Oh, yeah, that's a big screen. Trade-ins were... It looks like it has like a camera on the side too, maybe? Yeah. Huh. So you can wow. switch views, you can do both views. It has, it has the, the right side camera and then the camera straight. Huh. My Mac compression tester kit. Oh yeah. This came with the box. This also came with the box. This is like old school, yeah, multimeter oh, tester. Okay. Comes with like floppy disk drive stuff. Whoa. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> I've got a bunch of like NOCO booster packs in here. I used to use those JNCs over there. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, but just, I don't do as much anymore. I don't need it. Sure. So these are amazing. These NOCO booster packs are really yeah. awesome. This oh, is yeah. the one. A guy at the scrapyard I used to work with at had like a 150. Mm -hmm. Can't remember exactly what the number was, but this thing would start tractor trailers without no batteries, way. with no battery in them. Whoa. With no battery. That's what I love about this. So you could connect wow. this to a, a, a vehicle with no battery and you hit the override and it's putting juice in. Jeez. And so th this one right here, I put through the test. It's huh. phenomenal. These little guys that they, they sell to the masses, uh -huh. they're a little worthless. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> they're okay. They're great to put in your mom's car or whatever. Sure. Get her out of trouble. But like this thing is awesome. These are some kits that I put together that I just... Don't think I could bring myself to sell, even though I'll probably never wow, use. Wow, those are nice. So this is standard and metric, deep and shallow. Same thing, three eights. Oh, sweet, yeah. Man. My Daytona Jack. It's a monster. Oh, those are so cool. You know, I see these all the time when I go to Harbor Freight, and I'm like, one day I'm gonna buy one. I picked it up on sale. I mean, before that, I used the aluminum racing jacks just because that's what I had space for, but I had my van jacked up one time and it was really wobbling on that thing. And I just said, I gotta, I gotta get a proper jack. Wow. I love the, um, the DeWalt fan, even though I'm a Milwaukee guy. I mean, the, what they did right with this is that it's, you can use the AC cord. Oh, okay, cool. You know, so I can leave mine plugged in and leave it, use it all the time. Yeah. Or if I'm working on a car, I could put it right on there with the battery, so that's awesome too. Yeah. I am proud of my little collection of yeah. tools. I love that getting is, to put them to use. That is awesome. People what? have, uh, people are figuring me out really quick yeah. that <laughs> if they, uh, you know, can you take a look at this? I'm like, yes, yes I can. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Cool, man. Well guys, I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Like, again, there's, oh, there's a big difference between like technician set and like collector set. Like, Everything is so clean, and, and if you ever want to do your own work, man, you got all the tools that you could ever want. It's just, that's just so awesome. So, Chris, I, I really appreciate you letting me come out and take a look at your box and everything. But, uh, yeah, till the next one, we'll see you.